Okay, in this video I'm going to discuss sign convention used for accelerated linear motion. Now, the main things we'll be talking about here are speeds and accelerations. Now, just in case you don't know this, accelerating means that you're changing speed. That's what acceleration means, your speed is changing. And you, sh you will know, of course, that your, your speed can change in one of two ways. You can either get faster, and we'll say it, it'll be positive acceleration, or it can get slower and therefore have uh, negative acceleration. If we have, if your if your acceleration is negative, we call it a deceleration. And if it is positive, we just call it acceleration. Okay. Now in terms of the signs, we will say, just accept this convention, that if you're accelerating, your acceleration is positive. And if you're decelerating, your acceleration is negative. Now, in terms of speeds, I hope that that's quite clear. It, it, it's, yeah, if you're increasing in speed, well sure, you're using it a plus. And if you're, if you're decreasing in speed, your acceleration is going to be a minus. Now, in terms of your speeds, now if I want to plot a time, or sorry, a velocity time graph like this, and say I have, there's my, you know, that's plus plotting my my velocity against time. Now, clearly, my ta my velocity is increasing because we'll say in this case I've started at zero and I've gone to something that's not zero, and therefore my speed. I keep saying velocity time. It, well, the difference between velocity and speed is velocity is a vector and it means it has a direction as well. And I'm not giving these directions, so they're actually just speeds. But anyway, you were, you actually, yeah, so I'll leave it like that. So that speed there is, is, is going from, we'll say, a lower value to a higher value, so it's plus. Your, your speed is increasing. And obviously, if your speed is decreasing, if where, what it started at and what it finished at, if the starting value is bigger than the, the, the finishing value, then the speed clearly is negative or the sorry the acceleration the acceleration is, is negative the speed a speed is positive unless it's down here in this quadrant it's going to be positive so I think actually I'm, I might have confused that issue so let's just bear with me a moment again just bear with me now okay so if we have our x-axis and our y-axis this is something you should have seen in vectors here in this quadrant if plus x plus y negative x plus y negative y negative x and positive x negative y so, if you had a vector in this quadrant there, it would be positive on both. This one here would be negative on both. Here would be plus uh, x minus y, and here it would be plus, plus y minus x. So, similarly, similarly here, your speeds. Now, if your speed is, uh, if, you're, 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 if you're in this quadrant here, your speed is going to be positive. Because look, there's, we'll say v and there's t. In here, v is plus all the time. Now, look. Mankind hasn't worked out how to time travel, so therefore at no stage will you have negative, negative time. So you will never ever be working in this side of the, uh, this part of your, your axis. So in actual fact, you could just draw this sort of an axis all the time. Go like this, if you want, where you have T and you have V, because you can't have negative, uh, you, can, you cannot have negative, negative time. The question is, can you have negative velocity? Now, negative velocity... Let's suggest that you can't. Let's just suggest that you can't. So that means you're always going to be working like this. So your velocity will only be positive or zero, and your time will only be positive or zero. However, your acceleration can be both positive and negative. So, say for example, I start up here and I go down here, and I'm at V1 and I'm at uh, V2 here. Now, if V1 is greater than V2, then I am decelerating. Okay, so we'll say a would be uh, minus 10, for example. And uh, yeah, a would be minus 10. However, v2, we'll say v2 didn't go to zero. Say it was there. Well, v2 is still positive because, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's still positive. So the, the sign on that, it will, will still be plus. Now, uh, the last thing I'm going to speak about is units. So for time, you measure time in seconds. 
and the, the letter used for that is S. Uh, uh, that's, what do I say? Time. Sorry. The unit. Yeah. So the unit is uh, S. So time. We say time is just by you know time by T. It's measured in seconds, and you just write S. So for example, five S means five seconds. You'll know this by what you're talking about. As in, you'll know that it's seconds, or that you're talking about time when you're doing it. So what if you're talking about velocity or speeds? Okay, that's measured in meters per second, like this, m dash s or m s minus 1. They're the same thing, just to show you that, that means meters per second, meters divided by second. And how you know that, look at the formula, we, we, we've seen this formula before, we have distance, uh, speed, time. And look, that speed is equal to distance divided by time. Distance is measured in meters, time is measured in seconds, so it's uh, meters divided by seconds. So instead of doing that, then we say meters per second. That's the same thing. And also, if you know your rules of indices, you have m over s is the same as m s to the minus 1. Okay? And what is your acceleration measured in? It's measured in meters. Per second squared. That's ms2 or ms to the minus 2, like that. And how do we know that? How do it just, uh, I suppose, if you want to think about this, we said that uh, uh, your velocity is the rate of change of time, uh, or rate of change of distance with respect to time. So we had distance, speed, time. So your speed here was distance divided by time. And for, for your acceleration, your acceleration is actually uh, your acceleration is actually your velocity or your speed divided by time. So it's we'll say your distance divided by time divided by time, and that's how you get meters per second squared. Look, why that is the case, you don't need to know. All you really need to know is is what the units are. So meters per second squared. Uh, so that's distance. Oh, and finally, yeah, it's finally distance. Distance, it, we're, we're always going to say is S for uh, applied maths anyway, and it's measured in meters, and the letter we use for meters is M. So everything you should do should be in either seconds, meters, meters per second, or meters per second squared, like that. Accelerations, velocities or speeds, distances, and times. So that's kind of the sign and unit convention for uh, chapter 2 of the Applied Mathematics course. Uh, thanks for watching, pass it on to your friends and please subscribe to my channel.